The next match is Hikaru Shida versus Nyla Rose. Nyla Rose is someone when AEW first started was really treated like the um, one of the faces of the company and kind of maybe wasn't ready yet for that, but seems to have grown in that role lately. Um, what do you think of where Nyla Rose is now, and what did you think of this match? Yeah, so it's, and, and saying that I wrote that uh, – Nyla has grown so much and learned so much since this point in the in the in the uh, in her career. She is someone who always when I, when I when I'm there always asks for advice or always asks me to watch the match and give her critiques afterwards. And it's not just lip service because I've seen her take those critiques and use them in her following matches and then ask me, hey, I did this. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. And this is what I think. So I commend her for wanting to grow and wanting to be better and learn. This, to me, watching this match is the difference. And, you know, I've spoke about it before, but independent wrestling and television wrestling and how your how the perception from the fans of you means more than a great match. They were building Nyla Rose as the beast. I even think they called her the beast, or they still do or something, you know what I mean? Right. Um, but in this match, I felt that she was bumping around like totally Blanchard instead of working like Aja Kong, you know what I mean? Right, right. Instead of being a killer, she was being a chicken shit heel that, that I would have been, you know, or the way I would have worked. Um, I think that comes with uh confidence too because i think a lot of people who are being pushed as monsters or or they or the company wants to portray someone as a monster has this idea well man i also want to show that i could do all this stuff and so they, tr they try to show it but you show it when you get over do you understand when you finally get over that's when you can start bumping around a little bit you know what i mean that's when you come in after you've killed a few people right, then right. someone bumps you and then when that person that bumped you bumped you they get over even more you know right. and so i think a lot of the guys and girls um get into their own heads about well i need to i need to show off my athleticism and what i can actually do but if you do that too soon they've already lost their perception of you um i also felt that, that this match had a lot of outside stuff. Um, there should have been multiple count outs, you know, uh, there should have been multiple times where the ref should have counted them out, but they were just fighting all over the ring and all over the, in the fans and stuff like that. Uh, so I, you know, that was a small little critique for me. I think the content was really good of what they did. I thought it was executed very, very well. Um, but I feel that this was a point where Nyla was still brand new to, to national television, of course, and she was trying to prove her worth. I think now she has learned more and understood more of who she is, what she is, and and how to work to make her character mean even more. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Again, the match was good. The match was really good. But... Did Nyla Rose need to have a good match here, or did she need to be a killer? Have Sheeta fight from underneath and 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 make Sheeta valiantly come out and beat her, and then it would mean more for both of them. That's that's my opinion. There are probably going to be a shit ton of headlines about me burying this match. I liked the match, SRS. I liked the match. Okay, <laughs> fightful. I liked the match. I'm just telling you how I perceive my psychology. That's all.